uh-oh, Kotaku's Jason Schreier has done it again. Big time Watch Dog 3 leak right before E3. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Hey, yo, can y'all do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button? Hit that subscribe button? Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. Hey, look, I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I ain't too proud to ask. All right, let's get into it. Your boy, Jason Schreier of Kotaku, is on his job again. Right before E3, just when it seemed like everybody was able to keep everything close to the vest, he does it again. Big time Watchdog 3 leak right before their presser, which is Ubisoft. Now, Jason provides a little bit of information in regards to this leak per a uh, tweet and per a Kotaku article just released as follows. The title of it being Watch Dogs Legion Leaks. That is going to be the new iteration of Watch Dogs, according to Jason. And Watch Dogs Legion will let you play as any NPC. It reads, it wouldn't be E3 without every Ubisoft game leaking, wouldn't it? Following Roller Champions last month, Third Watchdog has now leaked out thanks to Amazon UK, and it's called Watchdog Legions. Kotaku can confirm that this one's real, as we've heard the name several sources plugged into the company. Watchdog's Legion is set in London, as we confirmed a while ago, and here's the really interesting gimmick. You can play as any NPC you recruit in the game from the product description. Product description reads as follows. Play as anyone. Every individual you meet in the open world has a full set of animations, voiceover, character traits, and visuals that are generated and guided by the gameplay system. The article continues to read by Jason. I've heard the same and, it, and also that you'll see different things at different points in the game depending upon which NPC you're playing as. In fact, from what I've heard, the system is so ambitious that it's been causing the developers a lot of headaches. And in parentheses, it may have led to at least one delay. More to come at E3. Now, what does your boy MM2K think about this quick? Look, as I've told you this generation, I have not been inspired by a lot of the games that have been released. I have felt myself being more of a multi-plat gamer um, than an exclusive gamer, um, particularly this generation. But the one company that has really disappointed me has been Ubisoft. I mean, they've done everything as far as I'm concerned with reviving Far Cry, you know, after the hiccup of Far Cry 4, but re reviving Far Cry with Far Cry 5, you know what I'm saying, to bringing new experiences with The Division, you know, um, a series that may have started off with, at a, a rocky start, but um, has sure to delight many of people, you know what I'm saying, since the second iteration in the latter part of the first one. Um, they've even brought me to a series that I didn't want to touch at all, that I had no interest in, which is um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If y'all can remember, that was my game of the show. Or no, it was my runner-up to the game of the show um, for E3 2018. And it's a fantastic game if you haven't played it. Um, Ghost Recon with the Wildland series. And now this Breakpoint, which, you know, may have some promising elements. And now this. I never really cared for Watch Dogs, okay? But hearing this is a very interesting gimmick let's see how they pull it off everybody always says be larry about ubisoft games because ubisoft is known to sell you try to sell you the world but actually give you a, a, a strip mall you know what i mean so we'll see how this all plays out but again big ups to ubisoft if this is all true for them having big aspirations let's just hope that they make this come to fruition um because it'll be an interesting experience in, uh, experience excuse me for everyone and most importantly let's just hope that it's an interesting take on the series and it's fun so with that said i'm all for it but dag i know the people at ubisoft like damn jason <laughs> we can't keep crap to ourselves but with that said that's it from your boy mm2k that's what i had to think about this but who cares what i think Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like I always tell you, you can come with me and come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you did like what you had to hear, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirt Griggity, Neethos, Snow Bunny. It's called Scram Punks. We air it every Wednesday, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on Dirt Griggity's channel. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. 
Last but not least, check out my brethren, the broadband bullies. We're doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. We cutting up in there, man. We need your support, so definitely check out that Patreon link. And yo, check out that gear is fly. And as always, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. And get ready for E3, baby. <laughs>